Okay, bye, mommy. Bye, Jasmine. Love you. Love you too. Okay, me fair, me, me, my back, house. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Shelly and I am back with another video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for the vibes. So, I have this <laughs> beautifully straight um, that I want to put in my hair. So my hair is looking a whole lot of rough and I want to wear my natural hair out but I want it to be a little bit straightened. So let me just move these and put them over here because I need a little bit of room to work with. But happy new year! <laughs> I just keep on saying that. Yeah so I'm just here about to wash my hair and I said, you know what, let me, the girls got to see, <laughs> but yeah, so my hair, I don't know, boy, struggling, and I really, the reason why I wanted to straighten it just a little, because, oh my God, like, look at my size, right? And I have good natural pretty hair, you know. But I don't like to cool my hair because oh, it hurts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down a little. So it's a whole lot, a whole lot. Let me just put these. Much better. Let's see. Probably gotta put it up there.
I need to find a wide teeth comb. So now I'm gonna put step two, which is this. Ooh, I hate when water running down my neck. Huh? Ooh, I don't like that feeling at all. See the consistency? Uh oh. I'm going to pour some more. I'm trying to evenly distribute it because there's not much in this bottle because I used this already. something to strengthen my hair because some of it by the end always falling out. But can I manage it? No. Because it, whew, you have to put so much work. It's not like I don't mind doing it, but it takes a lot of time. This is like this because this was straightened before I, oh, I had only straightened the um, leave out. And that's why my hair is stretched here. And then right here is coily. I hate seeing my hair around too. I don't like for my hair to be all over the place. Mm-mm. I do not like that. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this in my hand. Just work it through. Alright. Next is the blow drying process. <laughs> so y'all know I have the famous blow drying brush, but I can't find it. So I'm gonna use the old fashioned.
Richan.
we're halfway there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use the flat comb. The flat iron. I'm going to use this flat iron I think this is by KISS so I don't need a blow dryer anymore I have another flat iron you know I use this, this one because this goes up to 415. Um, put this back. I'm gonna also curl my hair. Put my watch here. So. When I'm done, I'm gonna put some curls curls in my hair so while this heat up I'm going to clean up right here this is why I don't like to do my hair at home and I'm thinking this year you God's willing I'm going to go to the beauty salon to get my hair to start getting my hair washed because my hair be flying all over the place turn this light on my hair be flying all over the place and it is so messy like so much strands of hair Throw these in the trash. And I tell you, my hair all over this bathroom, like everywhere. And that's why I don't like to do my hair at home because it get, my hair gets so messy. That's why I prefer to just throw on a wig because it's less to, to worry about. But I want to start wearing my hair more often. But dang. And my hair is so that you can <laughs> you see it everywhere. I need this corner. See if I can use this one. I said I was gonna go buy like the silk, um, like a silk some that you can use to press with your hair. Maybe I can wear my hair like this. Well, that's crazy. I thought it was not on. But I don't see any light or anything. 
hood. See how straight that is in one pass? <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse me because I am not trying to burn myself. Let me bring this closer to me. Oh, you all it works. Only thing my ends are a little rough. To be honest, I don't like my natural hair to be this straight. But the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm tired of, you know, not showing my hair. I'm not wearing my hair out. So if I do this, I can manage it a little bit better. See that? One pass. The light might change because I had this light on and I turned it off but this is how far I've got now we just open up this window I just love to hear the sounds of the outside I have some big, big dandruff. Big dandruff. And since I was a kid, I have to deal with that. <sighs> some things never change, right? This blow, I mean this flat iron is so good. It's like I only have to do one pass. I only do two passes merely for my ends. And that's it. Y'all see that? I don't want my hair to look too thin because I have naturally thin hair and that's why you know I went natural because I have thick I have naturally thick hair but when I use these straighteners it make my hair look thin because you can see my hair is blue, blow dried and it still look thick so I try my best not to take out too much of the texture of my hair um, with this with this black eye. I'll probably try to leave my hair straight like this for a few weeks. I'll try. But yeah, I'm so happy that I'll be wearing my natural hair out. I'm happy. You can use the comb or you can just go free handed. I 
when you use the comb it just allow it to go through a little bit easier y'all hear that crunchiness because that's the ends of my hair but yeah I think I want all right let me just flat iron this one I was trying to see if I wanted a bust down middle pack or if I wanted it on the side I think I'm going to do the side though try to press the top part flat because I always flat pressing flat ironing the top so it already has heat damage So I'm just using the comb to guide the flat line and also to have it glide through. I need some sideburns, but they've grown. I think this side is thicker than this side. Let me just do this last one. See my the, the my hair can't even go through the comb. Or the comb can't go through my <laughs> through my hair. Gonna do it again. So, what I'm going to do now because I'm not gonna straighten my hair again. I can get it straighter than this, but I won't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the curling iron and I'm going to curl my hair. But before I do that, I'm gonna just take this flat iron. Don't try this at home, y'all. Especially this part. You have to be a professional or somewhat a professional to prevent yourself from getting burned. So I just want the front to be see that <laughs> yeah get by my hand oh I just caught my hand there I mean the length the length isn't bad my hair was longer like four months ago and I cut my hair down <laughs> tell me if you're an 80s baby tell me what I look like <laughs> tell me what I 
I look like with my hair like this. I had those in every color. <laughs> okay. Why is not coming on? Maybe it's not working. I don't seem to be working anymore. working now this goes um, up to 25 and this is in the brand Cornier so you use the little stand to rest it down there I'm gonna rest this here just so I can let it on. Just so I, I'm able to. I haven't seen my hair like this in years, at least seven years. I'm gonna get my hair sewed in. <laughs> I want to look nice. Yes, ma'am. So when I come back on camera, I'll show you guys how I'm curling my hair, and then we are gonna be done for today. If you've reached this far in the video. Just remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember to subscribe. The light might change because I had this light on and I turned it off. But this is how far I've got. Now, you just open up this window. I just love to hear the sounds of the outside. I have some big, big dandruff. Big dandruff. And since I was a kid, I have to deal with that. <sighs> Some things never change, right? This blow, I mean, this flat iron is so good. It's like I only have to do one pass. I only do two passes, merely for my ends. And that's it. You don't see that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
I don't want my hair to look too thin because I have naturally thin hair and that's why you know I went natural because I have thick I have naturally thick hair but when I use these straighteners it make my hair look thin because you can see my hair is blue blow dry and it still look thick so I try my best not to take out too much of the texture of my hair um, with this with this black eye I'll probably try to leave my hair straight like this for a few weeks I'll try but yeah I'm so happy that I'll be wearing my natural hair out I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy to see my I'm happy I'm happy you can use the comb or you can just go free handed When you use the comb, it just allow it to go through a little bit easier. Y'all hear that crunchiness? Cause that's the ends of my hair. But yeah, I think I want. All right, let me just. Flat iron this one. I was trying to see if I wanted a bust down middle pack or if I wanted it on the side. I think I'm going to do the side though. Try to press the top pad flat. Cause I always flat pressing, flat ironing the top, so it already has heat damage. So I'm just using the comb to guide. The flat iron and also to have it glide through. I need some sideburns, but they've grown. I think this side is thicker than this side. Let me just do this last one. My, the, the, my hair can't even go through the comb or the comb can't go through my <laughs> through my hair gonna do it again What I'm going to do now, because I'm not going to straighten my hair again. I can get it straighter than this, but I won't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the curling iron. And I'm going to curl my hair. But before I do that... I'm going to just take this flat iron. Don't try this at home, y'all. Especially this part. 
You have to be a professional or somewhat a professional to prevent yourself from getting burned. So, I just want the front to be See that? <laughs> yeah. Get by my ear. Oh, I almost caught my hand there. Yeah. I mean the length the length isn't bad my hair was longer like four months ago and I cut my hair down <laughs> tell me if you're an 80s baby tell me what I look like <laughs> tell me what I look like with my hair like this I had those in every color <laughs> okay. Why is not coming on? Maybe it's not working. I don't seem to be working anymore. It's working now. This goes um, up to 25, and this is in the brand Cornier. So you use the little stand to rest it down there. I'm gonna rest this here just so I can lay it on. Just so I, I'm able to. I haven't seen my hair like this in years, at least seven years. Wow. And then I'm going to get my hair sewed in. <laughs> I want to look nice. Yes, ma'am. So when I come back on camera, I'll show you guys how I'm um, curling my hair. And then we're going to be done for today. If you've reached this far in the video, Just remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Can your kid is natural? Bad is for them.
instead of perming your hair in your natural, this is pretty good. Because I just use that to get my hair.
you release cortisol. Cortisol, of course, is your body's stress hormone, and it's not what you're looking for. It could lead to further muscle breakdown. If you don't like doing steady state cardio, don't do it. Number one, it's not a great way to lose weight. And number two, you're gonna hate it. If you hate it and it's not working, you will eventually give up. Dr. Drew, my wife Susan here, I want to show you something. You've probably seen this guy all over your feet claiming that cutting carbs isn't necessary for weight loss. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true, but let me tell you, there's more to this than meets the eye. The science of weight loss was cracked a long time ago. It's not a trend, it's facts. Following all those like trendy fat diets, all those trending workouts that you see online is literally a waste of time. There's already a proven research-backed way to lose weight and keep it off. I decided to delve into this topic and do some research. It turns out this guy is a celebrity trainer who's gained a massive following for challenging mainstream advice. He claims that what we've been told about weight loss is wrong, completely wrong. I witnessed thousands of clients on B-Shred transform their lives and achieve their best shapes ever by dedicated, say, 20 minutes a day to three simple practices. And you know what? It makes a lot of sense when you listen to what he has to say. The truth is that Hollywood's elite actors and actresses, they can get super ripped because they follow a long, ignored technique that was used for generations of bodybuilders and athletes before steroids were even popular. So what's their approach? Well, they ruthlessly cut through the fluff because they have zero time to waste because their next film role is starting in just a few weeks, and so they can't waste time on the wrong program. Cut out carbs, sugar, not sustainable. Boom, I gained it back so fast. This time I feel like I've done it the healthy way. I've lost 30 pounds. Just do it. Just do it. You won't regret it. You're going to see it too. You're going to be like, dang, I look good. For a while, I just completely cut out carbs and I realized that was a mistake. After you're going to do the carbs back, I dropped another 30 pounds. You will never have to be on the treadmill again. I want to say slowly the weight started to come off, but it came off faster than I thought it would. All these foods that you don't think that you ever get to eat when following a diet, I'm eating them and I'm in the best shape of my life. Carbs actually regulate your metabolism. Carbs are one of the best ways to give your body energy. If you cycle your carbs properly, you eat more carbs than you've probably ever eaten on a diet and you get far better results than you've probably ever gotten. I don't even weigh 210 pounds. You've lost weight. That's insane. I now went from a 6XL. I can now say that I'm large. I had lost right at 30 pounds. My jeans were falling off of me. So you lost 53 pounds. I went from 189 pounds to 136 pounds. Dang. What is the best workout to lose weight? The best way to burn fat and get shape. It's not keto, paleo, fasting, or vegan, and it's not super intense workout. That ain't how you lose weight. I already did all the hard work to simplify all that information into a very simple and easy to follow plan that literally anybody can do. The worst. So I'm, I'm watching um Chopper Roo Roka. <laughs> I'm gonna try to last today is the day after Christmas. And <laughs> see went by so yeah. I to the point where I thought yesterday was Sunday, today's today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. <laughs> and, I look, and I just realized I'm saying that I look <laughs> one of Vanessa's friends. More like a scarecrow. <laughs> I look like Gary Washington and seeing the last dance. This is the exact hairstyle she had in that movie and I'm glad I finally got to the end of that because I feel better anyways I really hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas um I know I did I got really great gifts like I told y'all and I just had spend time with people that I love and I didn't have to drive anywhere okay now I want my car back and I need to ask them actually what's going on with that because I haven't heard anything back but that's the really back I have friends. to and I do have to return out. some things, get some things done um, on my lunch break before heading back to work. But I just wanted to check in with you all, see how y'all are doing, and hoping y'all have a good, good Christmas. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Don't look bad.
I think it's better with the slick edges. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe. I'm wearing a onesie. But it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys today. I love you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.